Here you see the word at least. It indicates that this is a multiple scenario problem. And for illustration purpose, I'm going to draw out the spectrum of events that can possibly happen with choosing between first year student and second year students. And we're choosing three for the committee. In one extreme, we have all first year students and no second year students. Actually, we have only two first year students and six second year students, so that's actually not even possible. So the extreme is that there are two first year students and one second year student, and, or, and then we move the first year student down one by one. So one and two, and zero and three. We want to know the number of ways the subcommittee can be chosen where at least one first year student. This is at least one first year student. And then at least one second year student. So this is at least one second year student. And this is not at least one first year student. So this won't work. And both of these will. We're trying to find the number of ways. So now you can actually take the total, subtract the cross. Or you can just add up these two. I'm going to take the total minus the cross because that's a little bit easier. So the total number of ways in the sample space minus the number of ways to choose zero first year student and three second year students. We're choosing three from eight. So eight choose three is the total minus to choose zero first year student is two choose zero, which is actually one, so it doesn't really matter. To choose three for second year students is six choose three. Eight choose three is going to be eight times seven times six divided by three two one. So 56 minus six choose three is going to be 20. So the final answer is 36. Alternatively, let's just add these two up. If you add these two up, this is two first year students. So two choose two and six and one second year student. So six choose one. This is one, this is going to be six. And then we can also take two choose one for one sec first year student and six choose two for two, two second year student. Uh, six choose two is 15 times two, that's 30, and this still come out to 36. And that's your final answer.